Do you believe there's a God? Yeah. Do you want him to have a good relation with you and you obey him and everything? I do, but I don't really... But it's okay. I'm just, everything is one step at a time only. I'm not asking you to, to build a giant building or nothing. I'm just asking you a question. You believe in God and is he one? Yes. He has no partners? No. Okay. And if you knew he wanted you to do something, would you try your best? Probably wouldn't do it very well. But would you try? Probably. Okay. So this is the beginning. That's the first step. Because none of us are perfect. There's not an angel out here that you could see. If they are, they're invisible to us, right? So, if you really want to try, there's one step you take, then you take another and another. The, any journey begins by the step to get out the door of your house, doesn't it? Even if you said, I'm going to take a train and a plane and a car, and a, but still you had to take the first step out of the house. The first step you take is always the biggest because once you do that, you're committed, you're ready. You know, I took that first step, I'm going, I'm going. Here, look at my foot, it moved. There are two simple steps, and I say, if you listen carefully, you'll understand why. The first step is to admit there really is God. He's one. He created me. Uh, well, regardless of how messed up my life is, that's another story. But there is God. There is God, and I believe that. Okay. And the second thing is, I want to do things the way He wants me to do it. Re again, regardless of how I find myself, still I want it. I want in my heart to have my good relation with Him. If I can say that, I'm ready. Those two steps are very, very important. In Arabic, they're like this. A shadow la illallah, shadow Muhammad Rasulullah. The word Muhammad is in there, why? Because if I find anything from Muhammad that's authentic, he really said it or taught it, I'm gonna to try to do that because he said he's a brother to Jesus and a brother to Abraham, meaning what? In their prophethood. And he's not going to tell me to do something illogical or crazy or, or get a tattoo in the middle of my forehead or something like that. It's just logical things that help me and help the people around me. So based on that, I'm going to try my best. Now, I used to preach Christianity. And when I came into Islam, there were a lot of things I said, Oh, I don't know if I can deal with that. I don't know if I can do that. But the brothers would tell me, look, everything is one step at a time. One step at a time. And the first step is simple. You just repeat after me, I swear, there is no God to worship except my one God, Allah. Say Allah. He has no partners. Already he's helping you right now because you said it. And he knows it. it was in your heart all along. Now the next part, and I swear that Muhammad is his messenger. Jesus is his messenger. messenger. Abraham, Abraham. David. David. Suleiman. Adam, Adam. We're all messengers of God. And I want to do my best. Do my best. That's it. It was easy, wasn't it? Yeah. Now we'll do the Arabic. And this is going to hit you hard now because it has so much meaning. Even the prophets, when they heard it, it would go down to the ground sometimes. A shadow. Uh, you, you better hold on to her. <laughs> you got her? Got okay. A shadu. On la ilaha. Illa Allah. La sharika la. Wa a shadu. On Muhammad Rasulullah. Wa Isa. That's Jesus. Rasulullah. There you are. Now, what happened to you right here, you just got forgiven for every mistake since the minute you were born until now. All you've got is good deeds. No bad deeds. Everything's clean between you and Him. No matter what the people think, between you and your Creator, you're good to go. And anything you ask Him now, is direct connect. And then there's something after this that you will learn step by step, a connection you make five times a day called Salah. It means to connect again with God, and you will begin to learn some of the things that we, we know. But they'll show you how to do it from the English, a little bit Arabic, take your time, uh -huh. and before you know it, you're going to feel really great. Okay. How do you feel right now? I feel good. I, I have a little bit of hope. That's what you needed, wasn't it? And he's, he is the hope. 
Give give a big hug to your sister. She needs it. This is Lucy. That's your sister. Yeah. You can say you love Lucy now. <laughs> congratulations. Sister, congratulations. This is the best day of your life right now. Thank you. And we're so happy for you. Very happy.